Welcome everyone to Orcas for Dummies. This is Pal Pal Durrell, and in today's video, how you do it? We're going to be talking about the benefits of using citric acid and lemon juice. We're going to be talking about what or orchids benefit from them the most, how to apply them, and where to get it from. Stay tuned. Welcome back. Now, this will not be a long video at all, Foul Pals. I will make this as simple and quick as possible. If you like simple, quick videos, please give this video a like. Make, leave a comment and subscribe to the People's Channel, Orchids for Dummies. Now, citric acid, it isn't going to be any much different than us. Human beings need in citric acid. With us, we need citric acid in our bodies to help as a antioxidant to keep us away from those bad bacteria, those bad fungus. Well, with citric acid in or orchids, what it does is it either helps the pH go up or down, but that's a whole different video. In this video, we're talking about using it as a supplement with our fertilizers because what it's going to do is it's going to absorb as much of this as it can, okay? It's going to absorb it and it's going to also absorb the orchid fertilizer that you are giving it at the time. Now, it's different ways that you can apply this. You, some people use it as a foliar feed. What I like to do is get one eighth of a teaspoon and add it into a gallon of water. Remembering that a little depth will always do you. Now, we also want to take into consideration what type of water we're going to use our citric acid for. That's the great thing about it. You can use citric acid with tap water, but predominantly, orchids for dummies, we like to use um, we like to use pure rain water or reverse osmosis water. That's what I like to put my citric acid in. Now, when it comes to lemon juice, lemon juice as a citric acid. Yes, honey, this is what I want to put into my tap water. Here on Orchids for Dummies, we are going to start experimenting using tap water. My tap water is very high, okay? Very high in alkaline very acidic, okay, very salty. And remembering that all of those acids, all of those salts, it actually builds up in your pot. But that is the great thing about using citric acid and lemon juice. It only lasts for four to five hours. So you're not gonna have accumulations of salts because once you add that to your watering regime, that's going to make those roots just cow, 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 suck all of those nutrients up. Remembering that citric, citric acid is for energy, for us to reproduce, and for us to give you new growth. Now, that's for humans and plants alike. I'm trying to make it as simple as possible because a lot of the things that I use as supplements with my orchids are the same nutrients that us as human beings need. So knowing that, we will get a better understanding of how to take care of our indoor orchids. Now, this also is a form of citric acid. You know, this is the little lemon juice that you can get from the grocery store. Not to forget that you can get this type of citric acid, what they use to can fruits. And foul pals, please put the word on the curb, honey, that this is also out of adequable, I'm sorry, this is also usable for your indoor plants and your garden. So everyone is going to need to use a little bit of citric acid every now and then. Now, out of all three, lemon juice, actual lemon juice would be the last on the list. Not only because it's not as, it's not as economical as buying this big um, jar right here, which would be a lifetime supply because we're talking about one eighth of a teaspoon, people. So, um, what orchids that would benefit from this the most? Oh Thank God. You. Thank you so much for staying tuned. Now, we're talking about what type of orchids loves citric acid and how I plan to um, administer it to them in their diet. Vandas are the number one orchids that loves citric acid because this is one of the orchids that 
is known that to soak into water. Okay, so when you're using it with your Phalaenopsis orchids uh, or other orchids that you do not soak, what happens is the citric acid inside of your feed is going to metabolize your vanda and other orchids, but predominantly your vanda is going to metabolize that citric acid. So that is something that you would want to use every other watering when it comes to your vandas. Now, when it comes to Phalaenopsis orchids, what we want to do is, oh my God, it's a bug. Stay, we are back. So, as I was saying before that bug came out of the pot, honey, uh, your Phalaenopsis orchids, when I administer it to them and why I am administering it to them is for orchids that has gone dormant, that has been sitting in my house for over two months, okay, and has not done a thing. So, maybe adding a little carbon, adding a little carbon to their diet will give them the energy that they need to go ahead and start back growing, okay? Now, when it comes to my Phalaenopsis orchids that are actively growing that I have no problem with, I would do it maybe once a month when I add their fertilizers, which is going to be the high nitrogen fertilizers, okay? Like my 2014-13 by Better Grow. That is the only time they would see citric acid, but predominantly, I'm using it to get Phalaenopsis orchids out of dormancy. Vandas, they absolutely love it, along with any orchid that soaks into its water. Not something that you pour in a pot and it re its flushes right back out. So to sum it up, it only lasts about four to five hours. It's not going to accumulate salts in your pot. We're not talking about how it affects the pH in the pot. We're talking about using it with plain reverse osmosis water or rain water. We're talking about when using it with bandas, using it with tap water. That's a video to come. I thank you guys so much for staying tuned. If you got any questions about using citric acid on your orchids or your house plants, leave those comments in the box below. I love you guys so much. Happy growing. Until...